From supply chains, we move up the societal chack, chat stack to smart cities and robots control, controlled by blockchains. Yes, you heard that right. Our next talk is from the Robonomics team who have been working for years, first in the Ethereum ecosystem and now with Substrate and Polkadot to build a cohesive set of connections between crypto networks and internet, internet connected technologies and devices of all types. In this talk, Sergey will discuss the interconnection of technical and economic information in the form of atomic transactions between user applications, IoT services, and complex robotics, and how Polkadot developers can create modern and secure applications for smart cities and industry 4.0. Sergey, thanks for joining us today at Polkadot Decoded. Hi, Peter. Thank you to introduction me. And I guess we can start here. Yeah? Okay, so hi everyone. This is Sergey, software architect in Rabanamex platform project. Our team working on Polkadot adoption for IoT market since 2018. And today we'd like to share with you the vision of most interesting and important place for Polkadot ecosystem and smart city concepts. Of course, it will be my personal opinion, but I guess you will find something. Secondly, I would like to introduce you in Polkadot services for smart city developers, which we are ready to publish in the network in 21-22. But before, give me a chance to introduce myself. And I guess most interesting, what you can find around my work available on Google Schooler in form of scientific papers where I was software architect with RNG projects. And here is the articles what I recommend you to read first. And the first article described blockchain-based protocol for communication inside lights out industrial areas. Lights out, it means uh, fully automated without employees. That is the reason why we don't need a light on the floor. And I guess in the future of industrial zones, future of the industrial zones will be most darkness place of humanity. Um, secondly, uh, I guess you will be interested in this article where we describe it robot as a service business concept based on blockchain for smart city applications. So it's very close to my main topic of the presentation. And the last one, uh, most practice, uh, I guess, uh, article where we describe it use case, uh, uh, how you can connect mobile sensor to pollution measurement uh, directly to public blockchain. It helps us to prevent sensitive data like a pollution measurement report uh, for different stakeholders from attacks. So, so uh, if you will have a time just to find this article. Okay, so let's start and start from the simple description or definition of what is smart city concept. If you will go to internet search and open the first results, you will find the similar definition of smart city. Living area where we can connect sensors to collect data, analyze data in clouds to monitor and manage access to smart devices. And Houston, we have a problem here because a different approach to connect data and to manage access to smart devices have, has a, a different dangerous side effects. As example, I would like to share as example of side effects. Of course, uh, I would like to share with you my favorite story about innovation technologies in cities from the past and about Banksy. A lot of CCTV cameras in London and the citizens of the city think 
that cameras prevent criminals. But in 2007, Banksy painted a huge street art on the wall of Royal Mail. At the same time when CCTV cameras was on the street. I guess and I hope after that, some of the citizens of London started to think that cameras cannot protect their life. CCTV cameras really helps, but police to collect evidence. And, but at the same time, citizens think that cameras protect them and, they, and citizens don't think about other options to protect their life. That is a, one of the example of side effects when we start using some innovation technologies in cities. Another one, unclear, unpredictable, and happening right now. If we start collecting data from CCTV cameras with the face recognition functions, if we start collect data from mobile phones, from public area, from your home IoT controller, in this case, someone can propose most advanced and complex smart city application with name China Social Credit System. And I really don't know what exactly will happen with the hundreds of millions of citizens China, but I guess you will don't like the idea when someone track your life 24 hours each day. And you can find a lot of evidence of side effects in case when we try to build smart city applications. But after six years with RNG projects where we tried to use IPFS, Ethereum, and Substrate to build IoT applications, I guess we find, found the one part what we can change to avoid most part of side effects in our case. Look on the screen, please. Uh, here is a simple scheme of how you can rent a car in your car sharing application. Your data transferring to cloud or to IT company and IT company decide to grant access to smart devices or not for you. And that is a problem because every time when someone tried to collect data, he can collect more data or make additional value from your data, but maybe in services, not for you. So question is how we can connect citizens directly to smart devices in our cities. And here is the new generation of internet technologies. With projects like Polkadot, you, we can combine technical and economical details of transaction into one atomic transaction. So it means citizens can send messages directly to vending machine or to car with the payments and technical details, what type of coffee you want. So that is a theory of how we can avoid side effects of building smart city applications. And right now, I want to share with you the latest demonstration of Rabanomics Power Chain, uh, and we'll show you how Polkadot can control IoT solutions. Uh, can I ask? Um, yeah, and can can we start from the beginning of our demo, please? Yeah, so the Polkadot release 0 0.9 should be the last stop before we will see Kusama power chains. And now I opened 
uh, Rabonomics test network. And as you can see, uh, our relay chain based on the same version of, of Polkadot. Now I try to open one of the blocks book and show you that we connected two instances of Rabonomics parachain with parachain ID 1000 uh, with name Earth. It's uh, open co-ators test network and 2000, uh, which we used uh, for our r and projects in team. Uh, our parachains right now uh, base it on the latest uh, release of Urbanomics with Kusama parachain support. And now I will try to control space rover under Polkadot control. For that, I connect to parachain uh, Mars with ID 2000. So, yeah. And now I will go to Rabonomics decentralized application in section of services and we'll open the service with name polka.decoded demo. Yeah, uh, as you can see here, we have a simple interface to interact with the smart devices. Here I show you the address of uh, space uh, Mars rover and my personal address. And now I will try to send transaction to start moving simulation of Curiosity Mars rover. Yeah, here is the details of the transaction. We need to wait a little bit And yeah, it start moving. And here is a screencast from the another computer. And as you can see, uh, simulation of Curiosity start start moving. Now I will go back to Rabonomics Test Network the substrate portal uh, to double check. Here you can see the same address of the robot to sure that transactions happened in, in parchain. And now I will go to another interface where I will start collect data directly from uh, Mars Rover to my application without any intermediaries. Yeah, and at the same time, I show you that our transaction from smart device from Mars Rover happening autonomously uh, in real time. So you can see that uh, Mars Rover published the data with uh, distance and battery charge. And it's happened several times. So as you can see right now, we have a ready to work solution to connect smart devices, not so difficult as a uh, space rover, but, but any type of your IoT home controller, vending machine, uh, car sharing items, and so on, can be easily connected under Polkadot control. And now uh, let's back to the presentation. And because we spent a lot of time in the laboratory, it's a reason why we liked uh, some of interplanetary experiments. So it's, a, it's a, mm, really interesting for us when you spend a lot of time in, in your dark place. Uh, so if you liked interplanetary uh, experiments, I guess you will be interesting to see uh, the short art house cinema, what we did in the last summer. Okay, so let's go to the last part of my presentation. And 
As I said before, we did a lot of R&D projects in the last six years. And in, in this book, you can find 17 R&D projects, what was done. And part of them right now ready to be published in Polkadot ecosystem. The first is Urbanomics Web Services. So this is the most abstract and I guess interesting uh, service based on Urbanomics Power Chain uh, to control smart devices, any type of smart devices like uh, Amazon Web Services for IoT or Azure IoT suit. Second service will be interesting for parachain developers. Uh, and it's a very interesting example of cross-chain messaging passing architecture. So with the RoboBank uh, uh, substrate models, uh, your parachain can, can make more functions for your token in your own part chain, but without additional runtime logic, difficult logic. So uh, this part of computation uh, will be happened in Urbanomics part chain. Another one will be interesting for developers who would like to know more about Boston Dynamics robots. Uh, right now we have one Boston Dynamics spot and in this summer, we will share access with developers who are interested to try their skills with the Boston Dynamics SDK. Next one is smart building of setting services. Before end of this year, our team will publish uh, instruction how you can connect smart meters duty to Polkadot ecosystem. And in this case, your smart meter can collect data about your energy consumption and without any intermediaries, go to the public blockchain, get some carbon credits and burn them uh, with evidence in blockchain. And the last one, uh, more specific, I guess, but it's time for uh, after pilot systems, I guess. So uh, in case when companies will need to share public area or, or individuals, we need to share public area. We, on the finish line with the first proof of concept of substrate basic protocol to collision avoidance in after pilot routes. So that's all what I can share with you today. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much, Sergey. I think you actually answered all the questions that we 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 saw in the chat uh, in the end of your presentation. There. Thank you very much, everyone. Stay tuned. We'll be back shortly. <laughs>